welcome back to my channel and another vlog. I thought I'd take you guys with me through a couple of days. I will share some of my favorite full body workouts. I'm also making uh, my homemade granola recipe that I think you guys will love. Um, and as usual, feel free to tailor it, tailor the recipe uh, how you see fit for your fitness goals. But yeah, it's still cold here. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on with this cold weather? I'm not feeling it. But anyway, I'm heading out now because I want some more workout stuff. Um, socks, sports bras, tops. So let's go. drinking some water about to head out gonna take you guys with me so I'm doing a manicure and pedicure today um, so I started my morning with some much needed strength training but it was a full body strength training workout and then um, I had my favorite um, yogi ginger tea um, and then I um, made some protein pancakes. Um, and in this mix, I actually did add a protein powder. I'm testing a protein, a vegan protein powder. Um, I'm making a smoothie either later today or tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know what I think of, of this brand. Um, it has no stevia, no monk fruit, anything in it. So we'll see. I'm going to see how it feels on my gut. Um, but yeah, I added that as well as collagen and just my regular protein pancakes, protein pancake recipe. So had that with tons of blueberries, um, some maple syrup. So yeah, so we're going to head out soon and I'll take you guys through the rest of the day with me. And this afternoon, I'm going to make my homemade granola recipe, which I'll eat with yogurt. And I'll show you guys how I make that. All right, let's get the day started. So I am back from getting my nails done and running to the store. I'm getting ready to make some granola and I'll take you guys through the recipe. I have the oven preheated to 350 or heating up, yeah, to 350. 
Um, I'm going to use one cup of oats. I'm just making it in this bowl. This should be, this is enough for me. And just so you know, I used to make my granola all the time. I never bought store-bought um, granola. And I find that I've been doing that lately and I'm feeling crappy eating it. So I'm back to making my own. So one cup of oats. I'm going to do a half a cup of raw pumpkin seeds. Or actually, probably a third of a cup. Um, so I won't put all of them in there. A fourth a cup of pumpkin seeds, a third a cup of chopped pecans, and then I'm adding in a third a cup of walnuts, chopped walnuts. Let's stir this together, mix this up together. And I have almost, I guess, a fourth a cup of coconut melted coconut oil. I actually poured the vanilla extra in here, so I figure why not. So I did pour a tablespoon or a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I'm going to add, I guess, probably about the same, maybe about a fourth a cup of organic maple syrup in here. But before we pour that, I'm going to add some cinnamon and some cardamom. And guys, I wanna add some sea salt. Sea salt always brings out the flavors. So there's the cardamom. And let's add some sea salt. Putting it in my hand. So this is probably probably a quarter of a teaspoon. So let's stir this up. Stir it together and combine and make sure you get the coconut oil on everything. Hope you guys can see this. All right. And now we're going to add our maple syrup. And this is the same maple syrup I used this morning from Trader Joe's, but use whatever maple syrup you have or another sweetener of your choice, so. This is what I'm going to have. All right, guys. Now I'm going to um, just taste a little bit of it just to see what the flavors. Perfect. So I'm going to put this on a parchment line baking tray and stick it in the oven. Okay, let's put this in here. This is so good. I love this mix. You could, so make sure to push it all together. So we're gonna stick it in the oven. I'll let you know how long I end up cooking it for. It really varies. Um, I look for it to be golden brown. Um, so once it's ready, I'll show you what the granola looks like. I thought I'd share my, um, it's not quite dinner time, but I ate a super early lunch and I am peckish. <laughs> So I thought I'd just share my little 
I don't know, platter. It's um, tuna. I've just been loving tuna lately. I probably need to cut back because, y'all, I've been going through some tuna. But it's easy, it's simple, it's quick, and it's high in protein. This one can, 22 grams of protein. And it's yellowfin tuna, which is supposed to be really great for you. It's high in selenium. And then tuna overall just has high protein, so I love it. Of course, some Mary's crackers, a handful of Siete chips. As of June 1st, no more snacking on chips, but taking advantage while I can, and then some carrot sticks. So I'm going to eat this. If I eat anything else later, I'll let you guys see it, but this may be it. I may just have after the um, granola cools down, maybe I'll have a little bit of the granola, but I'll let you guys know. Guys, I hope you can see this. I know it's so sunny, but my house smells so good and it's not showing up that great on camera, but it is very um, toasty, brown color. Oh my God, this just looks so good. I mean, smells so good. Oh, and looks good too. I'm going to let this cool for maybe about an hour and then break it apart. And once I do that, I'll show you what else I add to this. And then I'll put it in the jar and I'll sample some and let you guys know what the final product is. But it smells so good. I love granola. Love it. This is going to be my new snack instead of chips going forward. Well, okay, not all the time. I still have to have chips sometimes, right? Okay. Hey guys, I think this has cooled off enough. It's been about an hour. It just breaks apart. I was hoping, I'm hoping I can get some chunks, some chunks. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh guys, it still, it smells even better. So I'm going to add a couple, or maybe just one heaping tablespoon of hemp seeds, just because I like hemp seeds in my granola. I actually forgot to add them in, so I'll add them in this way. Um, and I'm going to put coconut and once again you can stop where this is you don't have to add the granola or the coconut um i just like the flavor of coconut and i love hemp seeds in my granola so guys this smells so good Y'all, make this, make this granola, make it, make it, make it, it's delicious. 